YouTube, what is good? Hope you guys are all doing well. Have a cool little pickups video for you guys today. Button up shirts is one of the weakest areas of my closet. I'm the type of person who has a bit more of a minimal style. So a lot of the shirts that you'll be seeing in this video are basics that I've just been lacking for whatever reason in my closet for the last year or more. So this is me kind of like catching up to where I need to be as far as having a solid rotation of basic shirts. Yeah, I just think it's super important for everyone to have a really, really solid rotation of basic shirts that you can mix in and out with your outfits. Uh, of course, it's always really, really nice to have a bunch of standout pieces that are really, really unique and kind of further develop and define your style. But just having a solid foundation to mix those pieces in and out with those other more standout focal points of an outfit is really the way that I go about styling things. And that's gonna be like pretty much a reoccurring theme in any of the styling type of videos and outfits that you see from me. You'll see that on some of the on-body shots that I have for you guys today. I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's just go ahead and get into the pickups that I have for you guys today. So we're going to start with bottoms. I ended up picking up two pairs of shorts. They do have your regular two front pockets as well as a sort of hidden pocket on the front as well, which is really nice. Nice little zipper, plenty of space to put like a wallet or a phone or something along those lines if you needed a little bit of extra storage. These shorts are from Engineered Garments. It's the same short in two different colors and also they have different materials. The olive shorts are in a ripstop material. Obviously, Engineered Garments is heavily influenced by military garments and military garments typically use ripstop fabric. So ripstop obviously is just very durable, very functional. And so that's why it's used in a lot of military garments or at least was in the past. The navy shorts are in a cotton blend, I believe. So a couple of different retailers. So I'll look for those and if they have sizing, I'll link that in the description for you guys as well. These shorts also complete a set that I have with a trucker jacket from Engineer Garments. If you've seen my previous pickup videos, you may have seen that. So this is just kind of like the matching set. They also have pants that match. They or may not get in the future as well. So just a simple short, pretty versatile. You can style it in a bunch of different ways, which is really nice. So happy to have picked these up at a discount. The shirt you see on top of the shorts is this baby blue button up from J Crew. Just your classic broken in Oxford shirt. Uh, if you don't have a blue, a white, and a white with blue stripes of this shirt in your closet, I would recommend that you get some. These are pretty much as versatile as any piece of clothing item that you could have in your closet. Classic, traditional menswear kind of prep aesthetic, but I mean, this just blends into so many different areas and aesthetics and fashion, so versatile. And these on body shots, I kept on the Navy engineered garment shorts. Then I kind of gave you guys two different looks of me toning this down in a more casual sense with sneakers. On the left outfit, the racers are really the accent kind of standout piece. I feel like this is just such a basic outfit on top. And then it kind of draws your attention to the bright accent neon green on the bottom. And then on the right, this is kind of like a more blue tonal look. So the top three fourths of the outfit is all different types and shades of blue. And then on the bottom, again, we have the Converse with hits of blue and red stripes on them. So it kind of pulls that together. I mean, this is just like the classic prep color palette, white, blue, and red. It's really, really hard to, to go wrong or mess that up. Really, really liking the flow of this kind of more casual street prep look. It's a look that's really easy to replicate. Even if you don't have these exact pieces, I'm sure you can find pieces like these from other brands. And then of course, the Chuck 70 is just widely available. So if you don't already have a pair, I don't know what you're doing. Stop what you're doing right now. Stop watching this video and grab yourself a pair. It's just such a versatile sneaker that goes with literally 
everything. Next, we have the same Broken in Oxford shirt from J. Crew. This one is in white. I paired this up with some blue indigo wash jeans. And then on the bottom, the Adidas Gazelle that recently dropped. Again, the sneakers and the jeans are kind of bringing an element of casual to the button up shirt. Really like this fit. It's not doing too much cuff the jeans because it's summer and it's very, very hot here in Florida. So that's always a plus. I went with the no-show socks. Also gives you a bit of ventilation in that ankle sort of lower leg area as well. Again, an outfit that's super easy to replicate. One thing that I may change is having a darker wash denim. I don't have a good darker wash denim, so that's kind of on my wish list at the moment. Maybe even a selvage pair. Other than that, really, really liking how this outfit came out. Next, we have three shirts from Prada. These are the short sleeve camp collar shirts. This first one I have in white, and then on the chest pocket, you just have a little black rectangle with the Prada logo on there. Very, very simple shirt. Um, I just kind of wanted some more basic versions of the short sleeve camp collars. Obviously, Prada is known for having some really, really cool and crazy colorful designs on these, some of which are split in half and they have two different prints and colors on each side in the same shirt, which I mean, some of those are amazing and gorgeous, but like I said, my style is of course more minimal. So I wanted a solid rotation of more plain sort of staple versions of these camp collar shirts. So again, camp collar shirt from Prada on top, on the bottom, the Issey Miyake on Plisse pants, and then some low top Chuck 70s. Also threw on the Prada bucket that hat that I have, just to give you guys an idea. Um, would highly recommend bucket hats, doesn't have to be from Prada. Theirs is of course overpriced. And for the second one, I have a black one. This one actually has a graphic on it. It's kind of like palm trees. It's kind of very like a summery kind of Miami type of feel. And the graphic is in a combination of kind of like yellows and gold. Picked up this one in a size large. Forgot to mention that first one uh, I picked up in an extra large. So I think the first Prada camp collar shirts that I picked up were both in a size medium. I still like the medium. I think the large and the extra large give a bit more of a casual feel because they're a little more oversized as opposed to the medium. It's kind of like a more fitted look on me. It's not quite as loose and relaxed. So they both have their benefits, but I think overall, I think I prefer the way the large fits in these. And then maybe if I want something really casual, the extra large works as well. So pick this black one up from the outlets and the first one, I picked up from Flannels, which is a retailer over in Europe or the UK. I would love to have a plain black version of this Prada camp collar, um, either the nylon or I believe I saw the women's had like some sort of gabardine or gabardine blend version. Would love to pick up either or both of those in the future, but my bank account looks very, very hurt right now. So that would be later on if I did end up picking those up. And the next one I have here is a white, black, and blue striped button up. Really cool shirt. I'm pretty picky with patterns and stripes. This one is a white with blue and black stripes going vertically through it. And then of course on the pocket, you have the little black patch with the Prada. Pretty low key, pretty simple, but if you know, you know one of those sort of things. Again, the same Issey Miyake on Plisse pants. And then these black loafers are from Zara. Uh, Prada has a pair of loafers. I'm not a huge fan of how much the silver triangle logo on the front stands out. So I ended up going with the cheaper option from Zara. They've held up pretty well. I've had these for over a year. So it goes to show you that the more expensive option is not necessarily automatically gonna be the better option for you. Just really depends more so on what aesthetic and look you're going for. The cheaper option provides that, then hey, why not? This was from a European or a UK version of the My Teresa website. They don't actually ship to the US, so I ended up having to use a proxy service. It's my first time using a proxy service and it went well. I would say it just took a long time to get from Europe past customs 
to the US. So it took multiple weeks to actually get this package to me, but uh, pretty happy with it, the process overall. Sometimes even with the proxy service shipping costs slash transaction costs, the total cost overall can sometimes be cheaper than even me picking up some of these shirts at a outlet here stateside. So they have more options a lot of times as far as older season product pieces go and then those also get discounted so you can find some really good deals if you look around a bit and then of course just some of those pieces i wouldn't have access to here stateside unless i got lucky finding them at an outlet so definitely keep that in mind if you're interested in picking up some of these shirts in the future we're happy to add these pieces to my collection a lot of them like i said are more basic kind of staple pieces plain oxford shirts aren't the most exciting in terms of some sort of fire pick up video if you know what I mean but again my style is more minimal and these pieces have been lacking in my wardrobe so I'm just kind of trying to fill that out and give a more solid foundation to put more exciting accent sort of pieces around and blend those in and out of any given outfit so hope you enjoy this definitely let me know in the comments which pieces were your favorite super happy to get past the adidas content that i've been putting out of course with the gucci collab this was just the moment to get those videos sort of out there and onto the channel but definitely glad to move past that and show you guys some of the other things that i've been picking up recently as well as some of the other things that i'm interested in at the moment so again thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video definitely consider subscribing. Lots, lots more content to come. Try and keep pushing out these videos in between my regular full-time job and then also DJing on the side, mostly on the weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I have for you guys today.